Okay guys, so now we'll make a slip knot. Chain 15. Slip stitch. In all the stitches. Chain one, turn your work around, slip stitch in each one of these in the back. Chain one, turn your work around, slip stitch again in the back of the stitch. Chain one, turn your work around again and follow the same steps. Once you've made this portion long enough for a headband, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so once you've made the headband portion long enough, okay, so we will join the beginning and the end. We'll pull our working stitch through here. We will chain one, and then we will go into each stitch 
and slip stitch. turn the headband inside out okay guys so the next step is to chain one and single crochet all these stitches for the entire row just make sure you don't do it too tight okay once you're finished single crocheting for this row I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, and now switch to a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Then go into the front of the post, yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch, chain three, one back double crochet, one front double crochet, One back double crochet, one front double crochet, one back double crochet, one front double crochet, one back double crochet, one front double crochet. Keep doing that for the entire row and then I will show you what to do next. One back double crochet, one front double crochet, one back double crochet. To finish the row, slip stitch into the third chain of the first post. On the next row, put your hook through the back of the chain post, yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch, chain three, front double crochet in the back double crochet stitch, back double crochet in the front double crochet front double crochet in the back double crochet back double crochet in the front double crochet front double crochet in the back double crochet back double crochet in the front double crochet front double crochet in the back double crochet back double crochet in the front double crochet 
continue to do that from now on and I will check back with you later okay guys on the next row put your hook in the back of the chain post yarn over pull it through slip stitch chain three back double crochet on the front double crochet front double crochet on the back double crochet back double crochet on the front double crochet front double crochet on the back double crochet back double crochet on the front double crochet front double crochet on the back double crochet back double crochet on the front double crochet repeat the last two rows from now on and I will check back with you later okay guys when you get to this point and you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one rows it's time to start decreasing put your hook in the front of the chain post yarn over pull it through with slip stitch chain three and now skip this one and then front double crochet into the back double crochet one and continue to do that for the entire row and then I will show you what to do next To finish the row, slip stitch into the third chain of the first post. Put your hook in front of the chain post, yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch. Chain 3. Okay guys, so on the next row, front double crochet for the entire row. After you finish this row, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, to finish the row, slip stitch into the third chain of the first post. Put your hook in the front of the chain post, yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch, chain three, two front double crochet, two half front double crochet yarn over pull it through two front double crochet two half front double crochet yarn over pull it through Two front double crochet, two half front double crochet, 
yarn over, pull it through. So continue to decrease on every third on this row and then I'll show you what to do next. To finish the row, slip stitch into the third chain of the first post. Put your hook in the front of the post again, yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch, chain three, front double crochet one, two front half double crochet, yarn over, pull it through, front double crochet one, two front half double crochet, yarn over, pull it through, continue to do that for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next. To finish the row, slip stitch to the third chain of the first post, put your hook in the front of the post, Yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch, chain three, two front half double crochet, yarn over, pull it through, two front half double crochet, yarn over, pull it through. front half double crochet, yarn over, pull it through, two front half double crochet, yarn over, pull it through. Continue to do that for the entire row and I will check back with you later. To finish the row, slip stitch into the third chain of the first post, expand your last stitch, turn your hat inside out, and then pull your last stitch through your last row with your crochet hook, like this. Secure your stitches. Cut your yarn and lose the ends. This is how the top of the hat will look like. And this is how the finished hat will look like. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe.